Texas Instruments had come to our college in 2011 when I was in third year for internships. This was the first time that they come to our campus for internships. It was a very big thing for all of us, you know, to actually get a chance to sit for this company. So uh, what uh, initially they cut off was uh, 70 percent uh, aggregate everybody, and they had offered six profiles, three sales and three design profiles. So I had sat for I had sat for a technical sales associate, and uh, the paper was for 90 minutes. Uh, 45 minutes, two sections. One section of quant, which uh, apt, which was compulsory for every uh, profile, and the other one was uh, the tech paper, which were there were six different tech papers for each for one profile. So you had to take the paper for which one profile you were applying for. So I had, I had done my paper, and uh, basically uh, the apt questions were uh, normal quant questions, nothing uh, the basic CAT questions that you have. And the tech questions, they were for my profile, for the technical sales profile, it was, they were very basic electronics, nothing too high tech. But um, they do expect certain amount of uh, intelligence that you have to, to know something about electronics since you are in the electronics branch. So after this uh, written paper, I had my uh, tech interview, I think three or four days after my written paper. Uh, my interview was at their office only. So in their office, uh, my uh, tech interview was for around one and a half hours, in which uh, the, the major part was devoted to uh, the interviewer wanted to just know me uh, and discuss my CV with me, ask me what work I done. Because since I, I was applying for technical sales profile, he did not really, well, from what I thought, he did not really want uh, to actually test my aptitude in electronics. He was more interested in my uh, personal skills and the way I used to talk and the way I could handle things. Uh, so I was, there were a couple of questions that he had asked me. First, he had asked me to make a block diagram of a mobile phone. Uh, this one, this was a, I think, it was a very new question. This was some, something that I had really not expected. So I think he, he gave me quite a bit of time to think over it, and uh, the, he kept on asking questions so I could, you know, expand my block diagram further, depending on what he was asking me. So in the end, you know, when I could actually look uh, what I had actually made, so I was feeling pretty uh, good that I, you know, actually had done something that I did not really expected to do. So after my uh, tech interview, I think uh, around two or three weeks after that I had my HR interview. HR interview was basic, um, if I have problem uh, going to Bangalore for my intern and what my future plans were and nothing very different, the basic HR interview. So that's the basic intern procedure that they had. So my joining was in uh, June, June, July. Two months I had my internships at their Bangalore, in, the, in Bangalore. So in Bangalore, my intern project uh, was uh, basically uh, there were there were different projects given to each intern, and one and every intern was assigned one mentor, because this was the first time that uh, Texas was holding a proper internship program for college recruitments. So uh, this was a completely new thing that they had going on over there. So uh, my internship experience, from what I can say, is that it, it was a very fulfilling one because uh, I not really expected to have such a good time over there, considering that I have. Uh, Lived in Delhi all my life. I've never gone out. I've uh, stayed at home. My schooling I was in Delhi. My college is in Delhi. So, but those two months they were, I think, the best that I had because, uh, given the point of view and the professional attitude that they had towards their work, so it was, it was, it was not exactly a very. Uh, it, I did not feel very burdened uh, with all the work that I had. In fact, all the work that they had given me, there was a certain amount of. Uh, you know, relaxation time also, and you could actually uh, think over it, talk to anybody you want. The best thing about that company, what I thought was, that you don't really need to follow a protocol to actually go and talk to anybody whom you want to. You just drop them a mail, and if they reply, and if they, are, if they agree to meet you, you can just go and meet them. You don't need to ask 10 people before going to meet them, if you can go and meet them. Because nobody really uh, is uh, uh, unapproachable or secluded. They're all right there waiting for you to help you. You can go and talk to anybody, like for example, I was in the sales profile, but that did not stop me from going to talk to the technical guys if I had some doubt. So it's not exactly if my project required me to talk to them, but if I myself was interested in something, I wanted to know that thing. So I could just contact the concerned person, uh, take a time, take an appointment and just go and meet him, discuss with him, whatever I want to. He, he would not begrudge uh, waste, uh, spending time with me, you know, thinking that he's wasting his time with me. Because uh, they don't really have that kind of attitude over there. There's, there's no, there's no offices there that you have inside their building. It's all open cubicles, so it's a very open atmosphere, very friendly environment, and I think that's one of the very major things that you need uh, to work uh, conducively over there. So working two for two months over there, I, mean, I was actually very satisfied with the, whatever I had thought would be, 
and uh, that's when I really made up my mind that I really had to join this company irrespective you know, so that's when I really struggled uh, to get my project bottom because uh, so I had uh, my intern project and I finished it in approximately 40 days so apart from that uh, my mentor, the mentor assigned to me, uh, he did not really focus just on my intern project. In fact, he helped me uh, cover all these aspects of uh, DI sales. So it's not that I was restricted to doing what uh, I had been assigned to do. I had the freedom to choose if I had to do something apart from that. So there were a ton of things that I had, that I had learned uh, which were not a, a part of my project. But there, there was something that I was, that was uh, invariably taught by my mentor and my manager so I would you know th I think that's one thing that uh, was very uh, appreciable about them because they never really focused or they were never really thought that I just have to finish my project and go they were not like that all they actually wanted me to utilize those seven weeks that I had and get the most out of those seven weeks so uh, that is one thing uh, another thing that I really want to point that out about uh, TI and uh, one, one more thing is that their uh, internship program, since it was the first time, uh, you know, there were a lot of uh, feedbacks and everything. So, uh, given all those feedbacks, all, I mean, all the mentors, all the uh, interns, they were asked for the feedback and, you know, what changes they would like. So, it, it was all very uh, friendly with everybody. There, was, there were no um, compulsions to do anything. So, uh, uh, getting back to the PPO, uh, what I what they really expected was uh, in sales in the TSA profile, they don't really expect you to know a lot of tech because I mean they don't really require you to know a lot of tech because in sales you have your technical support team also. So it's not something that uh, you would. Uh, it's not something that you know they don't really know or you know they don't, they expect you to know everything because uh, that's not really a part of your job. What your job requires you to do is you need to. Uh, go and talk to your customers, you know, maintain those relations, be cordial with them. So that's the sort of thing that uh, a technical sales associate needs to have. So it's not really uh, just uh, mugging up all the uh, facts and, you know, studying them and getting through the written down but not clearing technical interviews and everything. Because in the tech in the interviews, they won't really uh, check your uh, aptitude in electronics and everything, but moreover, they would uh, focus more on your own communication skills and the interpersonal skills that you possess so because uh, tomorrow uh, you as the sales guys don't really have to stay in the office their work is outside the office so if outside the office you know how to conduct yourself because you will be the face of the company the customer will be dealing directly with you so what they would really want uh, from you is that you can actually uh, present yourself you know as the face of the company you know upholding your company's name and uh, living up to the name, the reputation that company has and at the same time maintaining the customer relations because obviously uh, every company in this world requires a sales team you know there's no company that actually uh, sustain itself only based on the basis of its technical staff they actually need people to go out and sell the product also so that's where TI really comes in because they uh, are one company that are very sales oriented they give a lot of importance to the sales, to the sales staff and uh, you know that's why I this profile was very uh, I don't know very well suited for me because I personally am not a very techy sort of person but I I think this was perfect balance that I could actually attain which I could not really find in any other profile. Uh, some tips that I would actually uh, want to give out to the future uh, TSA people who actually aspire to be a part of uh, this uh, profile is that you know don't just concentrate on mugging the electronics and everything because if you actually are interested in sales then you really have to be interested in sales to crack it. So if you are interested in sales uh, apart from the tech aspect you really need to uh, focus on your uh, communication skills and you know the way you talk the way you handle yourself your presentation skills so that uh, because that those are the skills that will actually help you uh, get through this profile because uh, as I said earlier uh, all the TSAs have a technical support it's not something that they are uh, they cannot do without but uh, apart from the but, uh, the but what they actually require what is actually ne absolutely necessary for this profile is to uh, you know to actually know how to talk to behave to manage yourself basically in a professional environment because 
uh, at the end of the day, uh, being a part of the sales team, any sales team in fact, for that matter, not just TI, yeah, any sales team, you, you want to be a part of any sales team of any company, all you have to do, you actually just have to maintain your customer, your clients, you have to maintain the clientele that your, uh, prede your predecessors have uh, handed over to you. So it's, it's, a, it's a very big responsibility, it's not something that can be taken lightly and, uh, or for a joke. So I would suggest that if anybody actually is interested in this profile, that but they they should just uh, stay focused and you know uh, try and improve their communication skills and uh, implement them as much as they can in their day-to-day -day life. So and uh, all the TSA interns and if you are in there, so uh, TI is a very uh, open and a very friendly company. You do not have to fear anybody or anything. Uh, there is nothing. To be afraid of because all because all of them and literally mean all of them are there to help you to guide you through it so uh, what i would suggest is once you're there uh, work diligently because there's no substitute for working work diligently but at the same time relax there's there's no pressure on you you know nobody will be uh, badgering you about a project and asking you to uh, do it right now right now right now but uh, take give priority to your work obviously uh, do your assignments on time but at the same time try and talk to as many people as you can because that will only enlarge your perspective for if god forbid you're not uh, given a ppo but uh, in the future it will only help you by talking to people who have actually been working there five years ten years fifteen years so talking to them only uh, gives you a wider view of you know how you can actually do something else if not there so uh, not don't just keep yourself uh, inside your cubicle or shelf but go out and explore actually explore this opportunity because TI is one company that actually hands it to you on a platter you know they, they give you the environment they give you the people they give you everything that you ever you'll ever need to work with you just need to go out and grab it